For these white line cavities along the gum line that a baby has, we have a treatment option that's aesthetic. It won't dye it black like silver diamine fluoride. It's called fluoride varnish. It's the same stuff that we apply at the end of each dental cleaning, but we can apply it more frequently for children who have signs of early cavities. For her, I'd recommend coming every three months, so one time in between her regular cleaning visits for that fluoride varnish therapy. At home, what I want you to do is be sure you're lifting her lip and cleaning really well with the toothbrush along that gum line, and that morning and nighttime, you're using a fluoride toothpaste in a grain of rice size amount. This will help strengthen and remineralize that weakened enamel from the start of that cavity. We also want to get to the bottom of what caused the cavities in the first place. Do you have any ideas of what might have contributed to that? Oh, okay. She was taking a bottle to bed. What was in the bottle? Oh yeah, so even breast milk, it does contain natural sugars. And if she was sipping on that all throughout the night, then that was providing a source of food for the cavity causing bacteria in her mouth. So you're absolutely right. That was a big contributing factor, but the great news is that's something we can easily adjust and change. I recommend trying to keep breast milk only to daytime, maybe the last thing before bed, before you brush your teeth, but try not to have her have anything other than water overnight to drink. I am really confident that these changes and this therapy can help stop the progression of these cavities for your little one. We'll just plan to monitor them closely every three months and you keep us posted if you notice any changes. Do you have any questions for me?